Question two, Facebook started 2009 with about 150 million active users and by 2010 there were over 300 million active users. Let's find a linear model and an exponential model for this data. And of course, as always, we have to define our variables. And let's come back to this last part. So let's start by defining our variables. Let x be the year since 2009. So in that case, 2010 is x equals 1, 2009 is x equals 0 and so on. Why then is the number of Facebook users in millions of active users? We're going to find a linear and an exponential model and rather than use a TI calculator I'm going to show you how to use GeoGebra this time. So on your screen you should have GeoGebra.org up under graphing and then you're going to go here to these little dots and you want to go to GeoGebra Classic. And once you're there in Classic, you have more options. Go to Spreadsheet. That's what we want. And then we don't really want to see this graph area. So let's go View. And let's get rid of Graphics. And now that that is done, you'll only have the Spreadsheet. So we're given a couple years. Let's make a quick table. So X, Y. In 2009, which is represented by zero, we have 150, and again, I'm not writing 150 million because I know this is in millions. And I'm not writing 2009 here because this has been zero years since 2009 and 2009. All right, in 2010, that's one year since 2009, Facebook had 300 million active users. Now let's go back to GeoGebra. Column A is going to represent our independent variable, so I'm going to type in zero, then one. Column B is our dependent variable, so 150, like our table, and 300. And again, this tells me that in 2009, there were 150 million users. In 2010, there were 300 million users. Now I'm going to select all this, and I'm going to click on this bar graph here, and I'm going to go to two variable regression analysis. And I guess I'll leave this. We don't really need to see more. And it just plotted two points. So our regression model, let's go linear. And that gives us the linear uh, model, which I'm going to write down here. All right, now let's look at the exponential model. In GeoGebra, it's a little funky to get the exponential model. If you click on exponential, you'll get an E, which makes a little more sense since this is the exponential. So you're going to want to go to growth. And there we are. So the model we want is y equals 150 times 2 to the x power. According to Wikipedia, as of 2012, there were 901 million active users, and as of 2013, the numbers rose to 1.06 billion. Which model for Part A makes, makes better predictions for these dates? So let's recall our model. So our linear model was y equals 150x plus 150. Our exponential model is y equals 150 times 2 to the x power. Now how are we going to test these models? Well, let's write down our two points. We are given in 2012, there were about 901 million active users. 2012 is three years after 2009. And remember, x is number of years since 2009, whereas y is users in millions. And this is Facebook users, of course. So that means 2012 is represented as 3, and 901 million active users is 901. And we're also given 2013, which is four years since 2009, there were 1.06 billion active users. So take a moment and see if you can write 1.06 billion in millions. Have you figured it out yet? Well, 1.06 billion is written as 1, 0,60,000,000. So we're going to divide that by 1 million. which is 1, 
zero, 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 zero. That's here. And then cross out all the zeros that match. And you'll notice you end up with 1060. So let's write that down here. So let's plug these numbers into our model. So first let's test the linear model. So I'm going to write 150 times 3 plus 150 here and see how close I get to 901. This gives me 600. And we know the point was actually 901. So now let's try the exponential model with the same data point. So I'm going to write 150 times 2 cubed and that gives me 1200. Okay, so now let's try let me update my colors actually. The exponential model should be in blue. Now let's try the second data point. So here we just tried the 3 into both of these. Now let's try the 4. So 150 times 4 plus 150 is 750. Now using the exponential model, we write 150 times 2 to the 4th power. This gives us 2400. And again, this is where I plugged in 4 for both of these. So which is approximately the best model? Well, I'm not really going to say best or worst. What I am going to say is this one is an underestimate. If you notice, it underestimated 901, and it also underestimated 1060. So the linear model underestimates actual Facebook users. Now what about the exponential model? Well, the exponential model, well, this one seems to overestimate the number of Facebook users. Let's continue. Okay, so now we have four actual data values for this scenario. So this is neither linear nor exponential data. So let's use this new set here to find the linear equation that best approximates these values as well as the best exponential equation. So to do this, we need to go back here to GeoGebra and we're gonna just add some more points. So I'm going to add in three, four, and then for 3, we have 901 as our y value. For 4, we have 1060 as our y value. All right, now that that's all entered, we can highlight everything and hit two variable regression analysis. And there we go, we have a new growth model. But let's first look at the linear model. So here's our new linear model. The new linear model is y equals. 2.42, excuse me, not 2.42, 242.14. x plus 118.55. And now for the exponential model, remember in GeoGebra you go to growth and we're going to get y equals 1 point, excuse me, I keep saying that wrong, 167.15. I'm going to do to two decimal places times. 1.65 to the x power. Part D. There were 1.49 billion users in 2015. Which model predicts closer to this real value? So 2015 is six years after 2009. So our point here is 6, 1,490. So first let's test the linear model, then the exponential model. Y, well not Y, let's say 242.1 times 6 plus 118.55. And to test the exponential model, you want to use your calculator to evaluate 167.15 times 1.65 to the 6th power. So take a moment and pause your video and compute both of those. All right, now taking a look at both of our models, they're both overestimates, but as you can see here, which one is closer to 1,490? Well, the linear model is closer. So our linear model definitely best predicts the real value. I hope this video lecture was helpful.